project here on Forbes Avenue at Carnegie Mellon, where the future home of the Tepper School of Business is going to be. We're going to do is we're going to talk to Carrie Deutsch, who's the project engineer on this project, who's going to help us see a little bit about how we go from these pieces of paper that the uh, architects have been uh, sketching away on for, uh, what, like two and a half years or something stupid like that now? Uh, and we're going to see if we can turn this into uh, a real building. So there's tons of um, paper that eventually has to turn into uh, concrete, walls. How does that all happen? Yeah, so there's a lot of paper and actually should be even more than you see here. So one thing we do just to get you in is we use the iPads in a program called Plan Grid. Um, so this is a way for us to, as that, a That's our building. That is your building. Currently, this is a part of the level two floor plan. In specific, really, you can see the classrooms. You can see the classrooms. We see all of that. So it's a lot easier. Obviously, we have lots of drawing revisions, things like coordination, um, subs on board, made a big impact in the way we communicate around here. Awesome. Can we move walls? Matt, can we move walls? No. No, we cannot move walls. Walls are not moving. <laughs> well, walls are sometimes moving. <laughs> Obviously. No, no. <laughs> the concrete walls, are not, walls are not moving at this point. What are all these little tags, these hangers that are coming down from here? So we're going to have insulation running across this ceiling and the mechanical trades have already gone through and prepped their hangers to run their pipe, their conduit. The runs are very well thought out not to clash with each other, be in public spaces, so it's really important that they get that right. Right. Yes, plumbing. Get that right. <laughs> we get that wrong, I'm going to hear about it. It's, it's um, uh, challenging about the project was there was no water electricity on this side of Forbes Avenue. So the first thing we did on this project, which was May of 2015, was built a tunnel under Forbes Avenue. And this is what's here. So this is a uh, big concrete building, which is unusual for Pittsburgh. We usually build things out of steel. Yeah. What challenges does concrete give you? Steel's usually a little bit faster. Uh, obviously with concrete, you're looking at cure times. Uh, we're always testing the concrete, making sure okay. what PSI we're getting at various So days. you pour it, it's a liquid, eventually it's a solid. <laughs> correct, time. yes, correct. Okay. All right, thank you, uh, Carrie, for uh, a nice tour. Good to see the engineering perspective on that. Thank you all. We'll uh, find somebody interesting to talk to for our next quad angle. Thank you. Yeah, it was fun. And yeah, you safety hat number one, safety hat number two. All right, cheers. new band in a hipster indie. That's what we play. <laughs> <laughs>